Hey guys, this is Pearl Dragon Nuke with another tutorial. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on the instant up and down elevator I did two days ago. And since that video, I've compacted it even more. Uh, it was 6x11, but now it's 6x10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, so for those of you who didn't watch the original video or who haven't yet, um, you just press the button and it will instantly call the elevator and then send you up like that and it will do it for the top as well so if we send it down uh, you just press the button and it extends the elevator so you can go down again immediately so let's crack on with this tutorial okay so you want to start off by building up three blocks like this and extending it uh, six wide and uh, then bring it back like this and just make your platform I'm making mine like this then put two regular pistons here facing upwards uh, then build back two, blo no, two blocks like this from each one uh, put a, ri a sticky piston here and zigzag up with them like this and bear in mind this ed this elevator is modular uh, the modules are two blocks tall so uh, keep um, in mind that the elevator needs to be an even number of blocks going up so I'll make mine 10 so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 then you want to put uh, regular pistons on these sticky piston faces facing upwards and then fill in these gaps here like this and then you can actually knock out these blocks so now you want to build a frame going up here like this to the top and this is required because these blocks will conduct power from redstone repeaters then you just do the same thing here so like that so for this uh, we're going to be using Brows of Steel's design for elevators so that is a repeater, or a repeater here on one tick and then a repeater here on one tick and then a repeater next to it on four ticks but this isn't heading into anything so we don't do it for this level so then we put two redstone here and um, then uh, we put the same thing uh, on the next level but on the other side and mirrored so one tick repeats there coming out of a block and two repeats here and this one on four ticks and you just keep repeating it all the way up at the top you want to block off these two redstone that are connecting like that because that will um, do dodgy things to the elevator and also uh, You'll want, you'll want to make sure that you don't place a repeater there so that this ex piston just extends out but doesn't actually push upwards so this what well, this piston face uh, goes out and then pushes upwards so we have a nice flat platform when we get to the top so then uh, we want to do the yellow circuit so I just get our yellow wall you come down to here and put a block with a redstone repeater on it and put a block here with redstone on top and then put a block here and then a block here with a repeater on it that heads into a block with redstone on top and block that off and so how this works is this uh, redstone uh, powers this repeater that goes up into a block with redstone on top the redstone isn't going anywhere so it, it gets picked up by this repeater through this block and then that um, infinitely powers this and you can't do it you can't um, get it to retract until you remove this block and um, how we get it to climb up is we put a repeater here or we'll block with a repeater there and what this does is this uh, redstone goes into that block and then gets picked up by, by this repeater so it keeps climbing up so you repeat this pattern all the way to the top 
like this. So once you've done it for that side, you want to do it for the other side. So we start off in a, we start off in a slightly different position. We start here. Then we put a repeater here and put a block here and a block here and knock that one out. Put redstone on top of both of these. Then uh, put a block next to this one. And then put a block here with a redstone repeater on it and a block there with redstone on top. Block that off. And then um just keep repeating it as it was on the other side but obviously mirrored so it actually matches this side so uh, just like this so now that you've done it for this side you want to make sure that you put these blocks here so one that blocks these two redstone connecting and two um, also you don't need to put redstone on top of them so just to save you two bits of redstone in case you do make that mistake. So at this point I'm going to replace these blocks with birch logs. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because birch logs means that um, if I remove these blocks uh, then the elevator retracts basically because that's how this elevator works. So once you've placed the birch logs, if you are using them, um, build out three blocks from the birch logs and then put a sticky piston facing towards it and then just do the same thing for all of the birch logs like that and then do the same for the other side so just like this so there we go so then you come into this uh, opening here then you put a block here in the middle on the right hand side uh, in between this gap and then you zigzag up like this and uh, you keep going until you get to one block above this top piston here and then you put redstone torches on these blocks like this and here like this you do the same for the other side but you start off slightly differently instead you put a block here and a block here so essentially you're covering up the redstone torches but you're not covering this one <coughs> and then you fill in the torches again like this and do the same for the other side and then uh, on the insides of these uh, sticky pistons you want to put uh, redstone on them with glowstone like this <coughs> and um, uh, then you want to put two blocks on top of these redstone dust like this and you want to grab some buttons and put uh, them on each of these blocks to align this redstone because this redstone should not be powering this piston so like this you don't actually need one on the bottom block here and you don't need any here like that either I've forgotten sticky piston here so like that then you just need to update these pistons and they'll retract again like that so they should be like that so now we want to wire in the black circuit so we'll knock out these two blocks and just make our button panel so you put the button block here with the button on obviously and um, you'll want to grab a redstone torch and put it on the back of there uh, put block here with redstone on and knock out this block then put a block here with a repeater on it and then put a block there with redstone on it. Then you want to knock out these two blocks like this. 
and then put build up two with Ziggy Pistons and lock out the first one and put them like this and then place your floor, your floor blocks back uh, then you want to put blocks next to the sticky pistons and make a 2 by 2 square put two repeaters here and set them both to 4 ticks and uh, join them up with redstone and then put block here with a redstone torch on top and then put a repeater here on 4 ticks and put a block there and then put three repeaters here and set them all to 4 ticks like that and those pistons will stay retracted so we press the button and those pistons extend at the right time so that we don't get knocked out by the pi by the um, elevator because when it's on a fast ascent it does do that so at this point you want to come underneath the elevator on the other side and uh, at this point we want to um, we want to get the button to power the elevator so we put down four redstone like this and then put six repeaters like this so one two three four five six and set five of them to four ticks and then they leave the last you leave the last one on um on one tick uh then uh i'm just going to remove this redstone so that um it doesn't power the elevator uh put a block here redstone torch on top and then you can put that redstone back uh then come along to here a long one there put a repeater here on four ticks and then uh, that goes into a block uh, then you put down four repeaters like this set them all to four ticks uh, then put a block here uh, knock out that redstone uh, put redstone torch in there and then replace the redstone again like that now you want to lead this redstone along like this and then put uh, a repeater here and redstone there and then put two blocks like this, a repeater here and then redstone there. So now uh, these torches on the back should be turned off and that is the position they should be in as um, default. Ok so you want to come to the back now and you want to put blocks on the backs of all these redstone dust like this. and uh, then put uh, a block on top of that redstone dust and then put redstone torches on all these blocks so that they power the pistons like that uh, then you want to uh, put blocks diagonally from the blocks with the torches on so you get another zigzag effect and you stop there and you do the same for the other side so put a block here and you uh, just make the zigzag pattern and then you put redstone on all these blocks like this and then uh, you want to put a block here and uh, just put blocks on the sides of all these bits of redstone like this so like that and also put a block there and um, put uh, two tick repeaters in all these gaps if it's on the right hand side it faces to the left and if it's on the left hand side it faces to the right also remember to put the block there uh, so now you want to actually um, fix up the top of your elevator so uh, first you want to put uh, some glass in front of uh, the, this um, chamber where you go up uh, two blocks above here and um, you can fancy it up in any way you want like I'm going to use glass panes here like this and um, then uh, you want to make your platform uh, for the top so we'll do that so we just get our iron blocks there. 
there. Um, like this. And then just bring this around. You don't have to make the platform like this. I'm just doing it like this to make it look pretty for the tutorial. And then put, um, knock out these two blocks if you want to. Uh, then you want to uh, put your button block here and uh, then you want to come round to the back of it and get your redstone torch there uh, put two blocks like this put redstone on top uh, put redstone torch here and a block here with a repeater on it uh, then put glowstone here, a block here, glowstone here, a block here and run the redstone along it if you're on xbox uh, you don't use the glowstone instead you build up one block every time uh, I would place glowstone so like that if you're on xbox so then uh, you want to uh, run the redstone along here uh, then put a block here and a block here and then uh, put redstone along here like this put a redstone torch here and then a block here with a redstone repeater on it so now that will actually instantly cool the elevator because we're just powering the yellow circuit which then powers the, the elevator circuit and also this actually travels downwards as well this power um, so now we just need to get it to retract the elevator so how we do that is we put four blocks here like this and put redstone here, three repeaters here set them all to four ticks then put block here, redstone torch and redstone and we're done uh, so now uh, you want to just test it make sure it works so that works uh, from the top and uh, it should also instantly cool from the top and I missed out these redstone dust what an epic fail um, so yeah it will work now and you don't have to actually have to stand exactly in the middle so guys if you enjoyed this tutorial please feel free to like and subscribe and leave your feedback in the comments and I will see you guys in the next video